So in today's video, we are checking out Tornadoes of 2020, is it over yet? So as we already know, 2020 was just not a good year for a lot of people around the globe. So this is a whole another factor of destruction um, and it is tornado. So we're going to check this video out today, guys. And obviously tornadoes are so, so devastating. We don't really have tornadoes here in New Zealand. If we do, they're very, very small. Nothing compared to the ones that occur in the USA where it is just total destruction if it does hit a town. Uh, well, especially if it hits a town. So yeah, we're going to check it out and um, see the major force of Mother Nature in 2020. Let's do it. In hindsight, 2020 will be remembered in the U.S. for the devastating pandemic, crippling unemployment, and unprecedented political myopia. Looks like pronghorn antelope poop on cow poop. Climatologically, the Atlantic hurricane season exceeded records, with 30 named storms, 12 of which landed on the continental U.S. Wow. The western U.S. endured the most active wildfire year on record, and the global average annual temperature was the second warmest on record, and the fifth warmest on record in the U.S. For bands of storm chasers trying to escape it all, 2020 was... On Easter Sunday, a large, extremely dangerous, long-tracking tornado was underway in Mississippi. Doppler radar revealed an impressive supercell, well-defined hook echo, and distinct lofted debris signature. But up close, vague walls of gray, shrouding rain curtains, and a veil of tall trees obscured a hell on earth. It's right next to me. This tornado grew to 2.25 miles wide, the third widest tornado ever documented. Along a 68 mile damage path, it debarked and leveled entire forests. Cars and trucks were thrown hundreds of yards, mangled beyond recognition. Many homes and businesses were destroyed, some completely leveled and swept away, including some well-built brick and concrete structures. With estimated wind speeds up to 190 miles per hour, this tornado earned an EF4 rating. Following closely behind, another large, powerful tornado is in progress. Turn around and go back. There's another tornado. I can track it for you from right here. Where's it at? Right now, it's north of Sosa. Right here where we're at? Yes, and I'll track it with you and tell you where it is. Uh, tell you what, just pull over a little bit and block that entrance right there. Copy that. Wow, okay, people working together. Love that. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Seven days later, another significant tornado risk targeted Mississippi. Wide tornado. Chasing over the previous week's damage paths compounded the danger. More tornado damage. What they? in there? This intensifying high precipitation storm brought darkness early, along with a barrage of powerful it's just positive crazy, ground flashes. Guys. High frequency lightning activity. Out These of are a the movie. big ones. These are the big daddies. Not only do positive oh ground my. flashes look different, they often sound different. The thunder from these megabolts hits you like the shockwave of an explosion. Come on, we gotta run away. Run away, run away, run away. Deeply embedded in rain, an unseeable, mile-wide tornado raced 54 miles across the state at a ground speed of 55 miles per hour. Can you see anything in there? No! At its peak intensity, the EF-4 demolished two well-constructed homes, leaving clean slabs in its wake. No idea how deep that is. It's a 
ghost town. Oh my god, look at that weather. April 22nd, Oklahoma. On April 22nd, a low precipitation supercell approaching Medill, Oklahoma set the stage for this highly visible tornado. God. Right out the gate, it earned EF2 status, snapping power poles and flinging trees. What the hell? Here it comes. This doesn't look real. This is insane. That's oh my close. gosh. Oh my gosh. This. Look at this. Oh my god, I... Oh my gosh. And it does go so quickly, right? Oh my goodness, that's insane. But it just leaves a path of destruction. It's so powerful. Wow. Wow. large section of this warehouse was demolished and under the rainbow two mobile homes were completely destroyed as far as I go. Wow. and now it finishes Back home in Houston, a typical squall line provided an extremely rare capture. Beautiful anvil crawler lightning was scampering across the sky. While one dramatic burst was decaying, a separate flash brought its leaders within the vicinity. This attracted new leader development to reach out of the lingering channel and the two connected. Lightning, striking lightning. I've never seen lightning like that before. Not even on What is it camera. motivates ants to work so dang hard? It's got to be the queen, right? I just gave the harvester ants here an M&M &M and I imagined a hard worker who's been laboring his whole life to win sweet favor of the queen approaching her and saying, Behold, your highness, I bring you golden chocolate. But it might have backfired because they took the peanut and clogged the hole with it. <laughs> oh no! On May 4th, another blitzkrieg of positive ground flashes hammered the earth in northeast Oklahoma. Video is so, so interesting. This time, the tornado reports were negative. In strong contrast to 2019, chaseable storms in Tornado Alley this May favored linear modes. Though often ominous and photogenic, lines or squalls are much less efficient at producing violent tornadoes, but they're highly proficient at summoning horizontally extensive lightning. Nice. It's beautiful though, isn't it? <gasps> the storm mode responsible for the majority of the world's violent tornadoes are supercells. But in May 2020, even supercells were struggling. Brief spin up. You could argue this is a tornado, but it's hardly a violent rotating column of air. 
That's a gnarly storm. Hang on. Hey, I see you. How's that for a monster? Underneath the leading edge of squall lines, eerie but harmless turbulence often looms overhead. He's so talented, isn't he? Summoned by cool rains. Where are you going? You're flopping all over. Checkered garter snakes prowl the dangerous highways for frogs and toads. <laughs> oh my gosh! After an active April of mostly non-photogenic, rain-wrapped tornadoes, May wrapped up with tornado reports well below average. You guys think of 2020? <laughs> You'd think a lack of tornadoes would make chasing storms less dangerous. On my way home, here's an 18-wheeler trying to shove me off the interstate. Ah! Here comes a speeding crackhead, hell-bent on smashing into me. What the hell? Oh my God. And here's a genius speeding down the wrong side of the interstate. What the hell is going on? After a couple months of pursuing the weird weather patterns, I took a few days off to unwind with friends in my backyard. Since the pandemic hit, oh, this has been so my cool. social interaction. Say hello to Jose. And Hose B. <laughs> this is Pothead. This chubby girl is Ziggy. And her beauty competition is Abby. Damn. And this hog is my BFF. I call him the dude. The dude loves to sit on my knee while I dig up yummy treats for him. These anoles are the ultimate exterminators. If you're a bug in my yard, you better hit the road or else. Holy moly. Uh, here's an irresistible, pretty good sized cockroach. Oh, here comes everybody. Come get it. That's so oh, cool. Oh, stolen by the little girl. <laughs> So cool. A lot of CGs in there. Oh, On June 7th, a mean supercell bombarded South Dakota with negative ground flashes. That is a funnel cloud right there, I think. A photogenic tornado appeared to be in the works. Instead, Chases were treated to the world's puniest funnel cloud. What do you think? Amazing, this is so cool. I need to buy a wide angle lens because I can't get all this in one shot. Holy moly. See, isn't that beautiful? This has got a very good chance of producing a tornado, but if it doesn't do it fast, it's gonna get blown apart and that'll be the end of that show. Oh, that's a tornado. <laughs> it's a very weak tornado. I'm going to run to the edge of that hill. Just like May, June had a deficit of chaseable supercells and a surplus of linear, high precipitation storm modes. Come here! Good boy. Who 
are you? What do you think of yeah. that? Huh? Many promising storms dropped tiny laughable dangly bits, and it was beginning to feel like the chances of documenting photogenic tornadoes was just a stovepipe dream. Late June, I met up with our scientific field operations team. Optimistic they would usher in some better luck. On our first chase, another squall in Illinois was nothing to write home about. But the fireflies that evening brightened up our spirits. Wow. We don't have fireflies here in New Zealand, so I would love to experience them. In one. Montana, a promising supercell was developing right before us. Look at that, guys, look at that. Oh. But quickly grew up scale into a high precipitation squall line. I like my new friend, guys. Dr. Anton had a flat and, uh, a long story. <laughs> so, uh, Skip? Yeah. How's 2020 been for you? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna come out of it. If I'm gonna be like a raging alcoholic or <laughs> I'm gonna be a recluse or I'm gonna take up basket weaving or bungee jumping, I don't know. I feel like everyone feels that way. Refusing to give up, in July we continue to target the wide open spaces of the Northern High Plains. In the low population density and vacant roads, there's nothing to stop you from catching your storm. I like seeing scenery of the USA that you wouldn't normally see on any other kind of YouTube video. I guess. On July 4th in South it's Dakota, so interesting. a cluster of storms appeared to be growing into a line segment. However, while marveling nature's fireworks, a strong supercell organized producing an EF2 tornado. It's a crazy inbound outbounds on that blue. Impossible to see through the heavy rains. That wasn't me. Wow, that wind, guys. The following day, I threw in the towel started the long, defeated commute back to Texas. Along the way, I got to chat with a couple police officers in Kansas. So Dang what, it. I wrote you a ticket for 12 over. Guilty as charged, uh, officer. You be careful. Appreciate it, sir. Hey, have a good day. You too. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think of 2020, dude? It's a dumpster fire. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> Pretty abysmal, it's complete garbage. The day after I arrived back home, Melanie Metz was documenting the tornado of the year in Minnesota. In 2020, 1,075 confirmed tornadoes have been tallied in the U.S. Though it was the worst year in regards to photogenic tornadoes that many chasers can recall, 
Most of us were still grateful for the opportunity to marvel the monster storms, the lightning, the scenery, and whatnot. Hi. Oh, so, g'day. So, dude, how does it feel not being able to be in America right now? I miss my friends. I miss seeing you out there, missing being up with Mike and all the friends out there. Meeting your friends is just, I think, the best part out there. I miss my car. I miss the adventure. Yeah. Tell you what, man, it doesn't feel quite like tornado season without your RAV4 in my shot every other day. Or your RAV4 in my shot. <laughs> <laughs> who, who's, who's following you, Hank? Right. Though I drove roughly 30,000 miles up and down Tornado Alley, some of my favorite moments were in my hometown. Oh. Oh. Ah. Often on a quest for beauty, you don't have to look further. You just have to look deeper. Till next time, friends. Happy trails. Oh. What a great, great video. That was highly enjoyable. Picos, I think that's how you say it. Picos Hank is incredibly talented, right? I'm just really, really impressed. This is, I think, the second video I've seen of Picos Hank. Um, and I think this one definitely blew me away. Um, he was able to get so close to that tornado when it was destroying that building right in front of him. And you could really see how fast the tornado was moving along, right? So that was really interesting for me. And yeah, like I said in the video, I think not only is this video really interesting for me because of the tornadoes, but also just seeing a different different scenery of the USA. I love that this gave me an insight into kind of the countryside of the USA. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just a whole nother way of life that people live out that way. And different scenery you know those be beautiful beautiful fields of crops and um just it looks like a relaxed life out there without the tornadoes of course it's um pretty unsettling though when you see the tornadoes ripping through you know someone's town like that's where they live like that's where all their shops are where they do their shopping and their homes are destroyed you know what i mean like I understand that this is definitely like an art for them for not even an art but obviously a job um, and also for science as well because obviously getting videos and tracking data of tornadoes is important for science regarding tornadoes you know what I mean um, but yeah you just it, on the other hand it's just sad because these people these unfortunate people in these tornadoes um, in these tornadoes paths their life is you know destroyed you know every their home is destroyed and their town is destroyed and it's sad but i did hear that most tornadoes don't hit towns or homes or whatever um just because there is so much open space um in countryside america but yeah 1075 confirmed tornadoes tallied in the u.s in 2020 which is insane, right? But um, something that really impressed me as well about the, a lot, to be honest, a lot of this video impressed me. I really enjoyed that. But the lightning in this video, the shots that he got of the lightning was crazy. Like, it's amazing that this is nature creating these insane light spectacles of electricity that goes through the air it's insane and also beautiful but also scary to watch right that this is out of everyone's control it's crazy but thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did i'm gonna leave pico's hanks youtube video down below please 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 go check him out and subscribe if you haven't already because he's really really talented and i'm sure if you watch this video you're gonna enjoy his content as well i'm gonna leave a link to the original video and his channel down below so nice and easy for you 
Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you've got anything to add, definitely feel free to down below. Um, and if you do have a specific video recommendation, head over to my website, which I will link down below, and you can make video recommendations on there, and hopefully I feature your video request on my channel. Um, but yeah, apart from that, like this video if you did like it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.